Hi, my name is Chad and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I'm going to make Banana Foster's Souffle. I know it sounds exciting, right? Well, I was thinking my grandmother used to make for me when I was a kid, you know, I'd go to grandma's house, she'd make banana pudding with this vanilla, she made the banana, vanilla pudding out on the stove with eggs, sugar, cream, milk, whatever. Um, and then she would take that mixture, add bananas to it, pour it on a big bowl. The bowl was lined with vanilla wafers. And this would go in the refrigerator and it would sit. And then she'd pull it out and we'd all have this banana pudding. And it was just so delicious. I loved it so much. I couldn't wait for her to make it again. So tonight I thought, well, I'm going to put a spin on that because I've been making these souffles lately and they've really been coming out nice. So I thought I'd put a spin on it instead of to making my regular chocolate souffle or chocolate java souffle. Tonight I thought I'd put a spin on it and let's do something different and make a banana souffle. And then of course I thought, well, we'll just uh, uh, kick it up a notch and uh, let's just put a little liquor in this and... Uh, come on up with the Banana Fosters and then just make that into a souffle. I thought I'd just combine the two um, and see what happens. So here we go. So this is the way we're going to start this. We're going to start with ramekins and I'm buttering them. I'm going to butter four ramekins just like that. And once they get buttered, you get four of them buttered. What you're going to want to do is just make sure all the inside of the ramekins are all the uh, areas are buttered. You don't want to uh, have these souffles stick on you. So Make sure all the bottom, all the sides are coated with butter with your finger. Just rub it around in there. Look in there and make sure they're all coated. Just like that. And then I'm going to use um, vanilla sugar right here. This is some sugar that I have uh, cut a vanilla bean open. I've dumped all the vanilla beans out into the sugar. And then I put the vanilla bean back into the sugar. This is about a cup of sugar. You can do that too. And it, it gives you this beautiful vanilla sugar with these vanilla beans all through it. Uh, you can use this on cereal. You can use it in oatmeal. You can use it just about anything you want that you want sweet. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, vanilla sugar in these ramekins. And all I'm going to do is just coat them. Just like you would coat the inside of a cake pan with flour. So I'm just going to roll this around until all the sugar is coated around all the sides of the ramekins. And now it's going to be time to point this down. All right, now I've got all our ramekins coated with our vanilla sugar. Just like that. And now we're going to need some eggs. And we're going to want four egg whites. 
in this bowl and I'm going to put three egg yolks in this bowl and then I'm going to put one egg yolk in this bowl because this one egg yolk I'm going to use in another recipe I only need three for my uh, souffle three yolks and four egg whites Chad's kitchen. Do 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 do. Chad's kitchen. Do 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 do. Chad's kitchen. Do 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 do. Welcome to Chad's kitchen. Do 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 do. Chad's kitchen. Do 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 do. Welcome to Chad's kitchen. Do 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 do. Chad's kitchen. And there's my four egg whites. All right, we're gonna get our egg white speed up now. And I'm gonna get my oven going. I'm gonna um, put my oven on 325 for our souffles. Now, to our egg whites, we're gonna add a half a cup of vanilla sugar. We will need two bananas cut up. Just going to slice them because these are going to go in the blender once they're cooked. And we're going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter to our pan. Mm -hmm. 
nie? All right, so we're gonna get our butter going here. Butter melt it. This I'm going to add four tablespoons of brown sugar. Just a little more. Just for shits and giggles. We're waiting on the sugar to dissolve in this pan over the heat here. Looks like that's starting to happen about now.
we got to that point now. Bananas. Mm. Move it off the feet. I cooked the bananas down a little bit, about two or three minutes. Just like that. We're going to add about a quarter cup of dark rum here. and about two tablespoons of banana liqueur. Now we're gonna light that, flambe it. Cook all the alcohol off. Just like that. Mm. Try not to make a mess here. All right. Perfect. I'm going to let that cool just a little bit before we put it in our blender and add our eggs. As you can see, ah, look at that. Delicious. Look how beautiful. Just cool a little more. Stir it around here a little so it'll cool. I gotta give this a taste. it goes. Okay. 
And here we go. Now we're going to take this and this Now this we're going to take and pour right into our ramekins. I'm sorry I couldn't stop and adjust the camera right now, but I'm just pouring the wrist mixture right into the ramekins and I'm going to show you that as soon as I get these poured in. Uh, this actually takes on the look of marble, uh, marble with it running through the egg whites the way it is. And we're going to see. This is, uh, I, I did notice that uh, I may have added the, 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 the quarter cup of rum may have been too much but we'll wait and see how this cooks up let me show this to you right now here they are isn't that amazing actually I'm gonna cook up another I'm going to cook up some more bananas foster. That's going to be our topping for this. Uh, so we're going to do that again uh, while these are cooking. Actually, I don't need... I need a... You want your rack in the middle of the oven. And in they go. And that's 20 minutes on the clock. Alright. We'll come back. Okay, while well our Souffles are cooking. I'm going to make up a topping for our souffles. And it's basically just going to be bananas fosters for our topping. So we'll just do that real quick.
Once again, we're gonna start with two tablespoons of butter in our pan. A little more. <laughs> Gotta have a lot of that butter. And I'm actually going to cut these bananas up a little smaller because I want this to drizzle down um, inside of our souffles. Our topping, I want it to be able to, you know, ooze down inside of the souffles. So I'm going to chop our bananas up and quarters. I think that could be better. Pretty bananas. Whoops. of our bananas. And we'll flambe this up once more. for our sugar to dissolve. Takes about two or three minutes for that to happen. starting to happen right now. Go ahead and add our bananas. Take it off the heat. Oh, mm, goodness. Get 
Beautiful. You want to cook your bananas about two or three minutes before you flambe it. This literally begins to start cooking down like soup. And that's kind of what we want right there. And I'm not gonna add the dark rum to this topping. I'm just gonna add some of the banana liqueur. About a tablespoon. That's all we want in there. That's our topping for our Bananas Foster Souffle. Looks delicious, right? Check it out. Yum. Let's get this plated up. That works for me. What do y'all think? Bananas Foster Souffle. My own creation. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. I'm gonna back the camera up. I do want you to see my face when I taste this for the first time because I have no idea what this is going to taste like. But it sure looks amazing. I mean, I'm going to hold this up so you can see everything I see. I mean, just look at this. It really looks fantastic. I'm going to stab it now. Souffles do generally drop when you stab them, and that did fall, so that looks that's a good sign. Mmm. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. This is something... Wow, this is definitely a grown-up dessert. Mmm. 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 I have to say, this is a hit. I would definitely make this for anybody. It's quite amazing. Mmm. I think not so much rum next time. That was a quarter cup of rum for four servings. It should be about half of that. The banana liqueur is outstanding in here. I can taste it. It really is delicious. The bananas on here. Jet's kitchen. The foster, do, the bananas do, 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 foster on top. Do, do, this is amazing. Jet's kitchen. Do, 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 do. Wow. Jet's kitchen. Do, 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 do. This is definitely Jet's a hit. Jet's kitchen. Do, 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 do. Welcome to Jet's really kitchen. This is really delicious. You have to try this at home. Try it for yourself. Try Chad's it for Christmas. Kitchen. Try it for any holiday. Welcome to Chad's kitchen. It's absolutely amazing. I'm glad I thought of this. Chad's I'm glad I'm gonna, you're going to get to enjoy this with me. Enjoy. Happy eating. Bye. Happy eating.